<laughs> My name is Sandy. I'm from Oxford. I moved to New York four months ago to intern at the UN. I work for the UN Development Program. And then I met this young lady, Priscilla, and she told me about her YouTube channel and what she does for the homeless crowd and how she thinks society should respect them a bit more. So I thought I'd join her and on her journey to help the homeless people. Today we met two lovely ladies who are happy to be a part of our video. Could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Jessica from South Africa. I'm Lalda from Latvia. Thank you for taking the time to, to speak to me and Priscilla. We really appreciate yeah. it. I'll ask you a few questions and it'd be really grateful if you could tell us what you think. Um, firstly, I would like to ask you, what do you think society as a whole in New York should do to help the homeless people? Um, well, I know that there are a lot of things that they are trying to do, like um, the food shelters and the home shelters. But I think um, a lot of people in New York are very um, emotionally withdrawn from helping um, homeless people. Like if they're walking and they see a homeless person, they don't do anything. So maybe like um, just, I don't know, like make them more empathetic, make them try and help people in every way that they can. What do you think? I have no idea what the government, like, uh, the programs are, like, to involve. I have, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what they're doing, but maybe they should, like, support them more. I don't know. I think it's just, like, everybody have enough money, like, to just, like, maybe share a little bit, and then it would be a lot together, you know, and then maybe could help them. But I don't know, like, what specifically, but just, like, some funds, probably. <laughs> You're right, thanks. Um, moving on to that, I think other than the homeless crowd, another part of society that is really helpless is the elderly people. It could be elderly people who are, you know, abandoned from their families, or they've been faced by a natural disaster, or just, you know, abandoned by their own children. What do you think should be done to these people? Like, do you think it's fair that elderly people are, tr you know, mistreated? Um, what do you uh, think? That's definitely like your family morals. Like, if you, as a person, love your family, you're gonna want to help them out. But at the same time, helping them by sending them to a home, in my opinion, is not what you should do. Yeah. Um, maybe you could have someone come to the house and look after if they can't look after themselves, or maybe go and get an apartment where they live with a nurse. And I definitely don't like the whole idea of elderly homes. Yeah. Do you agree with I that? I think it's. Um, necessary if the person is like really like really can't take care of themselves and really need to take like need to like 24 hours and needs yeah the medical personal needs to be there like then yeah but other than that I think it's just like you know people are too busy with their own lives I need to travel I have kids all the excuses you know your parents have like sacrificed their life for like I don't know how many years you know 20 30 years and then just say bye and then yeah I don't know absolutely I'll ask you another question then to, to follow up with that so part of you know taking care of elderly people and homeless people is the way you're raised like you said it's your morals and I think education plays a big part in that don't you think so yeah and sometimes you come across the youth where mm -hmm. they sort of you know follow trends or something yeah. they are you know distracted from the moral message where you have to give something back to the society so if for the viewers that are watching this what would you want to say to the youth you know how would you ask them to get involved a bit more in you know as a helping hand in these things in, in general and briefly you can be very brief about it i think it's just uh maybe just talk to your grandparents or yeah, like older people have just conversation yeah. and ask what they think about it and like just be involved with like yeah just don't be on Instagram and Facebook and everything because Instagram and YouTube and Facebook won't help you when you're gonna be sick or it's gonna be your birthday yeah. no one will say congratulations or I miss you or whatever it's gonna be yeah. your family your relatives your family members who will definitely matter, do that yeah, yeah that's so matter. you do agree that social media plays a big role in diverting society oh, yes. from what's important yes, yes. And how do you think people should use social media instead? Then you know, because you can always give a message like she's using YouTube as a platform to advocate for these causes. Yeah. Do you think something similar should be done by the youth? Or, um, or definitely, just... there's a fine line between using it for like personal, in, like personal use, and kind of like you got to know the difference between when it's in too much and when it's time to actually like focus and get down. Yeah, step aside and 
help those who need it, you know? Absolutely. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, lady. It's been a pleasure so speaking to you. Yeah. Thanks for taking the nice time. To meet you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Thank you.